home sweet home. Hey, right, let's take it back in the day. I, I gotta know, your very first car, what was it? Very first car, Plymouth Reliant with a messed up wax job. When you put a wax on a car and you leave it out in the sun for too long and it permanently messes the paint job up, <laughs> but the sound system was flawless. I put two 15s in the trunk, Sound system was great. There was good intent behind the wax. It yeah, was like, always good intent you, behind you the wax. You put the wax on and be like, let me leave it in the sun, and the more the sun hits the wax, it's gonna really set <laughs> oh, in. Oh no no no! And, I and actually bought it like that. Oh, that's how. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you. Someone messed it up before me. What's the retail on one of those? More than you can afford, pal. I, I got a bad one. You know, I, uh, in New York, they have these auctions where you go on the West Side Highway, one of those piers, and they got all those repossessed cars. They could get it on the low low. You get on the low low, and they let you open the hood, but they don't let you turn it on. And I bid, and I got this 78 Monte Carlo for $175. Driving up the West Side Highway, all three lanes are covered with blue smoke. I knew I got my first lemon. I got, I got, but I still drove it to death, and I had a field day terrorizing New York City with me. I thought for sure you'd be showing up with some chrome spinners or something. <laughs> Real funny. That's a true story. I was 15 years old, and I was hanging out in bars in downtown Nashville, Tennessee, and I, sh I had no business being there. <laughs> Crackhead came in, said, who wants to buy a car? I said, how much? He said, 75 bucks. I said, I'll give you 40, and I'll come back and give you the 35 in an hour. He's like, okay. Gave him 40 bucks, me and my boy got out of the bar, we got in the car, it was like a 1979 Thunderbird or something like that. Rode off down the road, as we were driving down the road, we heard some noise, we looked in the back, there was another crackhead on the floor, passed out. We pulled over, a true story, I swear to God. That, uh, we pulled over, said, hey, woke him up, you gotta get out. He's like, what happened? I said, we bought the car, you're out. Put him out on the side of the street, and then uh, the next day, you know, at 15, just stupid, man. I had no papers, no, right, exactly. nothing, man. But you were rolling. I was rolling. I was rolling for a day until we ran out of gas. Because didn't, he didn't give me the gas key. <laughs> so, never buy a car from a crackhead. I only live once. Let's do it. What do you say, Don? We're talking or we racing? Just don't cheat this time. Gotta let that go.